Jade. You wanna go out? You wanna go bye bye? You wanna go for a ride? You want a special treat? You wanna go out? You wanna go for a walk? Bye bye. You look like you're dancing when you do your head that way, Jade. Are you a good girl? Are you a good girl, Jade? Did you like that, Ginger? You want another one, Ginger? There you go. Hello, Jade. What's up, Jade? What you doing, little Jade or Jade Jade? Are you a good girl? Jade, are you a good girl? You ready? Trying to get the new one to use the bathroom. We're in the process of housebreaking this one. She's very stubborn. That one over there is good. She'll do it every time she comes out. Little fat chunk. Look at that little fat chunk. But the new one is having issues. She knows what the word out means. It means we're going outside, but she hasn't learned to associate out with potty time. She just knows it means we're going to go outdoors, and she could do zoomies with Jade, run and play. And it don't matter how many times I come out here today with Jade, Jade will always have a little pee to let go of. She always does. She don't have no problem with it. She even, when I don't take her out and she needs to go, she'll come tell me to, to bring her out here. So I don't have any problem with her going. It's this one that's giving me the issue. Over in the corner, I put the potty, puppy potty pad to kind of give her inspiration. I thought maybe if she went over there, it was inside and somebody peed on it. I don't know if it was Jade or her. Might have been both of them. I don't know. But I thought maybe if I put that out with the smells on it, it might encourage her to go. Now, she has went out here a few times. And usually when she goes poop, she'll do it in that corner where I put that pad. That's why I put it over there again. Because I thought, well, she's been going over there, so maybe if I continue to put the pad over there, she'll continue to go over there. So anyway, generally when we come out here lately, she looks at the fence like she's doing right now, or she'll lay down, sit down. Now, for a while there, she's doing real good. There was one day, in fact, that I brought her out several times. And every time we came out, she peed and came over to me to pick her up. And I thought, she's finally connected it. She knows what to do. The very next day, it was like she had forgotten everything she learned, and now we're back to square one. This is what she does. She'll stand there. I try to generally be outside and give them, you know, have a patience, give her enough time to do what she needs to do. So that's why I'm patiently waiting 
It's pretty out today. You can see my yard hasn't started getting green yet. There's a few little sprigs coming up there, probably going to be Easter lilies. But right now it's just all still black from the winter. But yeah, I'm waiting on the little one to decide what she's going to do. Ginger, go out. She knows the word out and she knows the word in. I can walk up these steps and say in and she's immediately there to go in. When I first started taking her out and she did something, she got a treat when she came in. And that was encouraging to her. But I can't keep giving her treats when she goes in if she's not doing anything because then she thinks I'm rewarding her for coming out here. And I'm rewarding her for doing her business out here. That's the way I train Jade. This one right here, that's how I trained her. Every time she went out and did what was right, she got a little treat. That's probably why she's so fat. <laughs> she's a little chunky. She's about four pounds too heavy. And another thing I've noticed too that Jade does that I thought only boy dogs did. When Ginger does go pee, Jade will go right behind her and pee on top of it. You know, the market. I thought only male dogs did that. But I guess it's something that all dogs do because she sure will. If she sees where Ginger's went pee, she'll immediately go over there and squat and pee on top of it. So that's part of her fun, I guess. Being a dog. I see she's over there by it, like she's gonna go on it, sniffing it, but she never will completely get on it and finish. I just don't know. But it was so pretty out today, I thought that I would, this time, we've been out here several times already. I fed them breakfast thinking that might encourage her to do something. But I thought that this time I would bring my camera out here and let you see them playing. So here comes a noisy motorcycle. That's going to be... That's going to be it because I'm not going to keep her out here too much longer. She's got to learn that if she doesn't come out and do her business, she goes straight in. And I put her in her crate. All right. See y'all later. We got snow. Look at Ginger don't want to put her foot down on it because it's cold. <laughs> Bless her heart. Can't say as I blame them. They're happier coming out when there ain't no snow. She's like, oh, I don't like this stuff. Jade says, eh, hey, I'm used to this stuff. Don't bother me. The only thing Jade don't like is whenever it rains. <laughs> Out in the snow, playing. Here she comes. There's Ginger. There's Ginger right there. What? Where'd he go? What are you doing, Jade? Y'all ready to come in? Had enough of the snow? <laughs> Y'all ready to come in? Do you? Y'all want to come in? Jade, you ready to come in? 
How about you, Ginger? Ginger, are you ready to come in? <laughs> I think so. Look at Jade. She's like, one more time out in the snow. All right, y'all, let's go in. Now it's treat time. Because both of them went pee. Here's yours, Jade. Here's yours, Ginger. Yummy treats. That's what they work for. Going out in the snow ain't no Everybody comfy? I'm settling in? Okay. Good girls.